Today's workshop is called Everyday Energy. So it's all about using all of the energy we have around us, everyday things, okay, basketball, spoons, uh, fizzy, fizzy tablets, and doing some hands-on science, science experiments using those, uh, those things to explore a little bit more about energy. So energy is actually all around us in our everyday lives. Okay, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, you have lots of different types of energy. We're making energy. There's loads of different types of energy in the world. And we're going um, to explore some of those. Can anybody tell me one type of energy? Yeah? Wind energy, brilliant. And what's the contraption we use to take the energy from the wind? Does anybody know? Windmill, Windmill wind turbine, perfect. What's another type of energy? Yeah? Nuclear. Nuclear, yeah, that's another type of energy. Yeah? Solar. Solar. And what's the contraption we use to get the energy from the sun? What's it called? Yeah? Solar panel. Solar panel, excellent. Is there any other way we can make energy here? Yeah? Like water, waves. Water, brilliant. So waves, we can use our waves, our tides, um, our rivers to make, uh, to make energy. What else? Anything else? Where do you think, what, what kind of energy do we need to make our lights go on and our, our TVs go on and things like that? Electricity. And where do you think most of our electricity comes from? How do you think we make most of our electricity in this country? It does, it comes from the wall. And that travels back into our power lines all along our streets. Does anybody know where it eventually ends up? It's a big giant factory called the something station. Anybody know? Yeah? Power station, very good. So most of our electricity in this country comes from power stations. And in power stations, we actually burn something. Does anybody know what we burn? It's fossil fuels, okay? Do you guys know what fossil fuels are? Yeah, yeah. so can anybody name a fossil fuel for me? Yeah? Coal. Coal, what's another one? Turf. Perfect, turf, peat. Another one? Don't worry, we've got petrol, we've got diesel, oil and gas as well, okay? So actually 95% of our electricity in Ireland comes from burning fossil fuels. So most of our electricity actually comes from these non-renewable sources. So burning our fossil fuels, coal, oil, petrol, gas, those sort of things. And, um, but you can, you can get electricity and energy in lots of other different ways, okay? How do we get our energy? Where do we get our energy from? Do we plug into the wall overnight and charge up? No, what do we do? Very good, we eat food. And where does the energy for our food come from? Where does it all originally come from? So we eat an animals and we eat plants. Where do the animals and plants get their energy from? Where do the plants get their energy from? The sun, absolutely right. Okay, so it all starts with the sun. Everything in the world, all the energy starts in the sun. Okay, it's, it's a, an energy called electromagnetic radiation or radiative type of energy. And the energy from the sun is taken up by plants and animals eat those plants and then some animals eat those animals and we eat both animals and plants and we get the energy in the form of our food. Now, when we eat something, say I had a lovely big hamburger for lunch, when I eat that, is it gonna instantaneously give me energy? No. So what has to happen? You have to break it down, you have to digest it. So you break down your food into all its little bits, its starch, its sugar, that sort of thing. And then there's another process for, for us to get that energy out of those little nutrients. Does anybody know what that might be? Okay, it's something called respiration. So respiration is where we actually take the little bits of our food that we've broken down, so our starches, our sugars, things like that, and we bring them into our cells. And there's a chemical reaction in our cells, and it combines the little bits of food with oxygen. Okay? And this gives us our energy. So the oxygen that we breathe in combines in our cells. There's a chemical reaction with the little bits of starch and sugar, and that gives us our energy. And it also gives us something else, something we breathe out. Does anybody know what that is? Carbon dioxide. Very good. So that's respiration. So that's the reason we breathe, guys. The reason we breathe at all to take in oxygen is literally so we can um, break down uh, our food and we can metabolize it. We can extract the energy from it. Okay, so... We've got, we've got our radiative energy, we've got our energy that comes from the sun. When I eat something and, it's, and I've broken it down and I've got that energy, what kind of energy might that be? Does anybody know? Is it stored or is it moving energy? Is it moving? If I've eaten it but I haven't done anything yet, is the, it's stored, okay? So if I'm like this, I've had my hamburger and I'm like this, what's it like? Stored or moving? Have it stored, okay. So it's stored energy. And then if I go to move, what is it turning into? Moving. Moving energy, okay, kinetic energy. So stored energy is what we call potential energy. So if I'm like this, I've had my food, I have the potential to do something, the potential to move. Once I start moving, then that energy inside me turns into moving energy, kinetic energy. It's a bit like with this ball, okay. If I leave that ball there, it doesn't really have any, sorry, you probably can't see that. If I leave it there, it doesn't really have any energy of its own, does it? 
no. But I can give him my energy by picking it up. And now this ball has stored energy, okay, potential energy. It's got the potential to do something. And when I throw it like that, it changes into moving energy, into kinetic energy.